Hey everybody, we're here in West Central Florida. Uh, just had our barn redone. We had walls put on it and a uh, floor poured. Uh, doing some electrical work and next step, Ethernet. So we considered some of the wireless broadcasting units that they make, the emitters and receivers, etc. But since we're in Florida, the ground's kind of soft, sandy, decided, you know what? Why not just dig a trench? So that's what I'm doing. About two thirds of the way there of a 170 or so foot run. I bought 250 feet of that uh, direct burial uh, Cat 6 cable. Tapped into it. Right here on the side of the house. Right inside of there. Three quarter inch conduit under the ground. Boom. So trench is about 10 inches, 12 inches deep, something like that. Not easy. Not fun, but the ethernet screams. So we got fiber line outside coming into the house and 250 foot cable coming out here. And when you hardwire into this router we got out here, it, it's pretty fast. So like I said, I'm trenching maybe 10, 12 inches at a time, trying to stay as clean as possible. Once I get, I don't know, 10, 15 feet, I'll uh, put the cable in the ground, cover it up with, with the dirt, and move on to the next section. All right, so we got our 250 foot direct burial cat six cable almost ran to the barn, uh, right up to the end here. I had that hooked up inside uh, to a router, and man, that thing screams. So I bet you this is 250 feet, another another 30 feet in the house till it gets to the to the main uh, router inside. So I bet you it's close to 300 feet, and it is fast. Like I said, we have a fiber line outside, and it doesn't seem to lose anything. I'll do a speed test when I'm done here and show you at the end. I'm gonna connect it inside. We got this. Uh, this 4x4 electrical box, 3 quarter inch conduit. I was going to use half inch, but it's pretty tight, so I upped it a little bit. Fasten this right to the 6x6 six six post. Got the hole marked. I'll cut a hole in the, in the metal. And then from the outside, this will come in, connect right to it. A little bit of silicone around the edge of this, so nothing gets through. We're good to go. There you go, I got the hole drilled. I got the the box partially mounted, and I'll show you why. Got the connector outside glued. So I'll let this dry for a couple minutes. And then once everything is dry, and I'm sure it's not gonna come apart, I'll put some silicone around all of this right here. Take out that one screw holding this box on, yank the whole thing in, and seal that outside to, to the metal wall. And then I'll fasten this. We should be good to go. Run the wire through, um, through these fittings, and back to the router. So I've got the conduit cut and fitted. Uh, I'm gonna glue all this together. Got the ethernet cable uh, running through. So once I glue it, I'll feed it through uh, through here to the inside and to the back to the router. So there you go, cable coming in. Nice wad of silicon down there. I'll let that dry overnight and then cover it tomorrow into the building another wad of silicon in case they make it this far they're gonna get stopped looped a little bit in there in case i needed it for later and then i'll just run it run it through 
So here's the final routing. Try to keep it as clean as possible up behind this six by six. Uh, underneath the two by six, up above the door. Over here, then I drop down, boom. Here's the extra tied up behind the uh, post. And to the router. So we've got fiber coming into the house, uh, and then from the router inside the house to where we where I tapped into it right over here is maybe about 30 feet, something like that. Then 250 of uh, direct burial Cat 6 into the barn and to the router and then we're hardwired and that's what we're getting so not too shabby assuming this is accurate do it again So there you go, nearly 300 feet of cable and still stinking fast. <laughs>